it keeps you busy. If it's summertime in Virginia, there are three constants you can count on. Heat and humidity. For me, it's not a chore. I enjoy it. I love it. And Andrew Wolfuck mowing. And mowing. I don't know what the odometer on this one is, but it's a lot. <laughs> the man from Louisa tackles his weekly task with good friend John Deere. I would say every week I'm cutting five or six hours worth of grass. For this groundskeeper, every blade needs to be just right. <laughs> well, my lawn is a lot of a lawn, so yeah. A chip shot from his front door, Andrew has fashioned a duffer's dream. So it's like growing up, you said, I'm going to have to cut grass anyway. I might as well turn it into a fairway and a green. A slice of golf heaven. Now I know what Tiger feels like. For a father. You ready? Let's go. And his three boys. Andrew, five-year-old twins, Ryan and Brady. <laughs> and three-year-old Miles are a fearsome foursome. I mean, this is why you do it. Uh, watching the boys, there's nothing more priceless than watching them out here. On this course, good shot. <laughs> rounds can resemble a hockey game. There you go, good shot. But the staff member at Louisa County Schools wasn't satisfied with just one green. We are on hole number 10, Blackberry, walking over to hole number 11, Hackberry. We got a lot of tree names for our holes. What began with one hole in 2005, Oh, go, baby. Has expanded to a full-fledged 18-hole backyard course. Good try. Called Breezewood. Most people are in a little bit of disbelief. They're like, you have a golf course? Disbelief is normally the first response, and then the second response is, well, when can I play? Make no mistake, this is not putt-putt with windmills. Oh, my word. Here, dog legs and hazards. That's not bad greet golfers at every turn. Cardinal rule, if you've got water, you have to use it. Each hole equipped with regulation cups and flagsticks. Put it in there, can you make that shot? Breezewood even offers official scorecards. So uh, we start off the course with Willow, it's a 141 par five. Then we follow it up with Holly, that's a 70 yard par four. These links are legit. Oh yeah. Andrew's course comes complete with a relic dating back to the days of Arnold Palmer. And they go down. You sure can. The hilly course is carved out of the Wolfix's 550 acre family farm, a place where soybeans avoid slices. Turn right, baby, and go. And husks of corn dodge hooks. There you go. This began when a teenaged Andrew envisioned these fairways and greens after a family vacation in South Carolina. I wish we could just play golf here, you know. I hate that we gotta go to Myrtle Beach and then we come home and we don't really play. And my dad, is this is typical his style of just go get it done. He says, then we just need to build one. You need to go out there and build one. So Andrew got to work. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not easy to get a paw on this course. Bobby Wolfick admires his son's determination. And each day he comes up with something seems like new or better, so it's, that's fun watching that happen, too. To Mr. Wolfick, family time beats a birdie any day. Memories we'll never forget, both of us, and we're hoping he gets the same kind of memories with his boys. Breezewood never closes. Oh, there it is. A course where scheduling a tea time is Hardly an issue. Oh, there you go, Brady. Put the pressure on him. Green's fees are always on the house. Ah, that's right. And a relaxed dress code is customary. Always try to make time for it. I mean, what better way to, to spend an evening, you know, with your friends, just chipping and having a good time? Every day. <laughs> Bethany Wolfook says after school. <laughs> get it, Miles, get it, Miles. She knows exactly where to find her boys big and small. We have it right in the backyard. The soon-to-be mother of four says living on a golf course has its perks. This was something the boys could do with their daddy, and that's what I love the most about it. When I go out, I come home from work some days, I'm like, I need to go decompress. I'm going to go play a couple holes of golf with the kids. She totally gets it, so I am forever indebted to her. While Andrew relishes making new memories with his family. May 1st, 2004. He grips tightly to the past and to the legacy of one player who isn't here. Um, just a car accident right down the road, maybe two, three miles down the road. So yeah, very tough day. Andrew's older brother and mentor, Ryan, was killed in a wreck 
Ryan's death left the family reeling. I do, yeah. I mean, I think about him almost, you know, every day. Um, he's had a huge influence on me. Andrew says his brother lives on with each backswing at Breezewood. Oh, for sure. I hope so. He's got a great view of the course, so. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bonding with his little boys on the back nine. Look at those boys playing. <laughs> Can't put a price on that. Soothes any lingering sadness. They love being outside. They love playing. Um, it keeps them active. Here, serious golfers take a back seat. Oh, it's in the white oak. <laughs> at this true home course, rules sometimes bend. Oh! A place where even triple bogeys come with booty. What's that for? <laughs> this is a payoff hole. <laughs> Breezewood may lie a long way from Pinehurst and Pebble Beach. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice shot. But head groundskeeper he Andrew Wolfuck says those PGA courses will never outshine his 18 holes that are always under par. It's like Field of Dreams, but with fairways. So I'll say it again. Just more blessed than I could have ever imagined. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid. Hit the ball. <laughs> CBS 6 News.